Come on, it's out the box. Out the box. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Cheers. And uh, welcome to our response to All G's React Channel Decipher Those Lyrics Episode 1. Are y'all ready for this? We're going to decipher Lupe Fiasco's lyrics. He's got a little 20 second clip. And um, I decided, especially, not to listen to the whole song. I don't want any context. We're going to see if we can actually decipher bar for bar what Lupe was saying and what he was talking about. And uh, let's watch it first. Come on, it's out of box, boy. Go medals. Then my role models, rolling old models, low with old schools, flowing, calling, going gold follows, flower bearing, call it pedals to the floor, power sharing, call it devils to the door. Power, power, till ain't no devils anymore. Flower, flowers, they be dropping. What do you think he's talking about there? I think we're going down the uh, path of one of these Illuminati conversations. Mm. It's what I, it smells like. Mm. From a distance, I, get, I, I think I smell one of these Illuminati conversations, and uh, I'm with it. Like I, uh, I enjoy these type of debates. Just the fact that uh, salute to all G's react to. Um, just the fact that uh, you proposed the uh, challenge or the question to uh, see if you could try to decipher or uh, figure out what it was Lupe was talking about there. That's one of the beauties of hip hop. Salute. You know, when dudes do that and we say, you know, this guy's going, you know, beyond the surface as far as lyrics are concerned. This is what we mean. Um, yeah, I, I would have to say when you start talking about the powers that be and, you know, the fires and all of that, like, you know, from what I've, you know, experienced and talked and know about the Illuminati, I would think it's going along those lines. Um, whoa. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I think power is a, is a integral part. It's a subject that he was talking about. I think it's about types of power. I didn't see a look. We can bring in Illuminati, but I think more just label owners knowing what he's going, gone through. I'm, I'm going to break it down like this. When he first says gold medals, then my role models. I think it has, it's, it could be one of two things. One, he could be li literally talking about old school rappers, what they used to wear, gold medals. Then my, then my role models, right? And then the next line he does, lower old school flowing cold and going gold flow follows. He's just explaining that first line, why they're his role models. The second way of looking at it, which is what I really think it is, he means that awards and money is what he used to look up to, or he used to look for. And he goes on to explain that. Lowered old school, follow, uh, flo flowing cold and going gold follows. So he was, that was his reason, getting in the game and rapping, and he was looking for gold, looking for that, for that prestige. The next line, he says, power sharing, calling devils to the door. In other words, he's saying, after the fame, when he says flower bearing, meaning he got fame, people bringing him flowers, right? He put the pedal to the floor and he signed whatever whatever he had to to make that money, he, to make the next check. But in doing so, he brought the devils to the door and not being uh, deciphering exactly which deals to take and what all it was about was that gold medal that was his role model. And so, and I just, says, I'm just gonna finish it at the last line when he says, then power, power till there ain't no power, power till there ain't no devils anymore. Meaning he finally wisened up, got the got himself the bag that he needed, and now those devils don't come to the door no more. He doesn't. He signed. He's in control. He's gained the power he needed to negotiate his own worth. He can own his own music. He 
the devil's not at the door no more. He's no longer just thinking about the gold and signing whatever. Now he's thinking about a much bigger purpose in hip hop. And that's my deciphering of the lyrics. Worshiping what he worshiped and uh or infatuation or you know idolizing what he idolized as he spoke about is no longer what he idolizes anymore is what I get from it and like I said just it still has Illuminati just the whole idea. concept just, I feel that just the whole concept of the devil's you know when, when once that you know and you know the powers that be and power sharing that whole concept again you know I'm not gonna go into detail, but like I said, it's uh, it sounds like he's speaking about what we know about Illuminati or whatever the case may be. So, and if not Illuminati, we'll call it the powers that be, and his breaking away from that. Uh, I deciphered every one of those lines for you. I think we're both on the same page. We kind of have different views on what that means or, or how he meant it, but uh, I think we're right on this one. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Stars off with gold medals, those are my role models. Rolling, rolling old models, low and old schools. Now, what Lupe does here is something very clever that I love about his music. He's telling you he's rolling a car, but he's telling you the year of the old school by also making you think about what is gold medals than my role models now i believe that he is talking about the 1968 olympics the black power salute which was conducted by tommy smith and john carlos after they did the 200 uh, meter run event one was awarded a gold medal the other one got the bronze medal also peter norman wore a human rights badge on his jacket okay so during when they played the national anthem star spangled banner these men put on black gloves and raised the black power fist during the song until it was over and even peter norman who won the silver medal on the event wore a human rights badge on his jacket for some of y'all who think that the whole Colin Kaepernick taking the knee during the national anthem is something new, you just don't know your history. This is 1968. This is the Olympics down in Mexico City. So when he's saying gold medals in my role models, I believe he's talking about the gentlemen here who are showing a bringing to light the struggles and the uh, inequalities of the black community in America. And so he's saying, these are my role models. These are my type of role models right here, right? So he's telling you he's rolling a 1968 old school that's lower, okay? Now, when he's, now when he gets into the lines of, now he says flower bearing, call it petals to the floor. Now. He's being slick, but you know, when you win, you get the flowers and stuff like that at the Olympics. You get the medals, you get the flowers. Flower bearing, call it petals to the floor. He's being slick with his rhyme. He's talking about the petals of flowers that you receive when you win the event, but also pedal to the floor, like he's gassing it in his old school, okay? Power sharing, call it devils to the door. Now, when they raise up their power fists to highlight inequality and inequality and issues within America, within the black communities, that brought the devils to the door. That's talking about racist white people. The same thing that happened with Colin Kaepernick, how he was crucified in the media by a lot of just racist media uh, personalities. It brings the devils to the door basically they come out to try to get you when you're trying to power share but what he's saying is stand firm with power power 
to lay no devils anymore. What he's saying is stand firm in your belief, believe in your power, share your knowledge, give power to others until there's no more racist white people. Basically until there's nothing they can do about the power sharing. That is what I believe he's talking about within these lyrics. Okay, so there you have it, people. Uh, that was our reaction to the All G's React question. Um, decide for those lyrics. You guys tell us what you think. Are we right? Who's right? Who's wrong? Is, uh, is All G's React channel the right interpretation? Did I have the right interpretation? Was it D-Boy Slim? You guys let me know, okay? So, you guys need to go over there and check it out. All G's React channel, they do, uh, well, he does Joshua Suggs. He does um, reactions to everything. I'm talking about, like, from anime to hip-hop to all of that. And I think this month especially, he's really, really focusing on uh, underground artists. So, go check him out. I mean, if you like this show, you'll love that one. That's what it is. I also have... Just a few shout outs, and that's why I came on here. Let's get it right. Let's get it right, people. Like, you guys have been showing so much love in the past few weeks and the past few days. I just want to thank everybody. Listen, go check out that Patreon page if you want to support us. If not, it's all good. We love you as a fan either way. Um, the shout outs are as such Rogelio Marquez. He says, uh, album number 20 by Tech Nine. Not counting EPs on mixtape but listen that's not the case he's actually album number 12 he has eight albums that are collaborations with other people that's what makes the 20 that you're talking about so I was it's not 11 it is 12 but that's what I meant to say so uh, appreciate that though uh, Regelio Marquez thank you for your support um, Marquez Smith you back again said I agree with Bruce no matter what the situation is no human being should ever feel that heartless about anyone. And he's talking about 50 making jokes about Rick Ross on his deathbed. And once again, I agree with you, but I'm not going to say too much because D-Boy Slim is not here to defend himself. So, appreciate that, man. Um, that's it. You guys, appreciate you so much. Buy them beats and uh, check us out. We'll be back next Tuesday with a whole nother uh, bucket full of crazy shows and awesome commentary and great debate. Hip-hop debate, that is. The Basement. Peace.